As an admin, you can configure additional parameters for your compliance rules. Let's review some of them. Let's start by first going to your admin console at admin.google.com and open one of your existing compliance rules or create a new one. Once we have configured the first two steps for our compliance rule, we will find multiple parameters in our step number three, depending on the selected option. Let's start with modify message. The first parameters we have are regarding the email message headers. The first option allows us to add a header tag if the original recipient is changed. This will allow the server to know the original envelope recipient. The second option allows us to mark emails using headers such as spam or phishing. This facilitates other servers to manage this type of messages applying their own filters. The third option lets you define the header values for recipient servers to manage these messages. These custom headers may help you to troubleshoot routing settings and message delivery. The next parameter adds custom text in square brackets at the beginning of the subject for specific messages. The following parameter lets you change the message destination from the default Gmail server to a different mail server. However, it is important to mention that we need to add mail servers for Gmail email routing. If we select also reroute spam, a blatant spam is dropped at delivery time and it will route any additional email you mark as spam. The next option prevents bounced messages from being rerouted to the configured mail route. This parameter lets you change the recipient attributes such as full email address, only the username, or only the domain name. The spam parameter lets you deliver incoming messages to recipient or recipient's inboxes even if the spam filter identifies them as a spam. Following with the next parameter, it allows you to remove any attachments from your messages and replace them with a text of your choice. If you'd like to add more recipients, you can use this option. You can add individual addresses or several addresses. This option also lets you apply advanced settings and previous parameters as well. The last parameter requires the email to be sent over a secure connection. If TLS is not available on the sender or recipient side, the email won't be sent. By choosing Reject Message, we will have the option to add a custom message to be delivered once the email is rejected. If we select Quarantine Message, we have the option to be notified when the email is sent to quarantine. This will allow you as admin to review the message before you send or reject it. Once all our parameters are in place, we can save the new rule. For more help, check out the Setup Rules for Advanced Email Content Filtering page in the Google Workspace Admin Help Center. You will also find this link in the description of this video.